and welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hello, this is Roaming Required. Here we talk about all things life, travel, food, and of course, London. Now, you may have guessed from the title of this video that I'm going to take a couple of tubes and a couple of buses to find out what the public transport situation is really like here in London. I'm almost retracing my steps. I used to work in corporate. I used to commute every day into central London and then boom, pandemic, and I stopped commuting. So I haven't been on the tube for a long, long time. I don't really know what to expect. I need to make my way from East London where our flat is all the way across to South West London to pick up our car. Footage you're seeing was filmed about a week ago, August 2020 here in central London. Masks are mandatory so I've got my mask here and it's going to come with me the entire time as are you. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Weekday. It is unbelievably quiet compared to what it normally is. This platform is normally packed full of people all the way back to the tiles just here. So you're normally talking about at least three, four, five people deep sometimes on a busy day. So this is really, really unusual and quite surprising really. On that central line tube, the most I had in a carriage was a 15. It did drop to 12 just after one stop, so that was a relatively small number of people in a carriage that normally holds at least three times that. So this is Oxford Circus. It is ordinarily packed at this time of day, but as you can see, the tube behind me is empty, so is the platform. So this is a whole completely different version of Oxford Circus than I've known the entire time I've lived in London. Um, about 50% of the people are wearing masks despite the fact about 50% of the people are now wearing masks. It should be more but hey ho. TFL don't seem to be enforcing it but those are the ones that are. Well done. You may even want to match your mask with your favourite tube line. Now we're heading to the Victoria Line. Here's a little London fact for you while I'm walking through the tube station. So did you know that the actual tube poles like these ones here, all the red poles are red for the Central Line, the blue ones for the Victoria Line, that sort of thing. Okay, tube number two. transport for London network at least so far anyway um, it is a very warm day today so that may have something to do with it because other tubes aren't air-conditioned so if you were thinking that this world-class uh, underground system was air-conditioned you'd be wrong I think there's only two lines that have air-conditioning one of which is the Hammersmith and City line maybe the circle line also has it but definitely not the central line <laughs> made it to Vauxhall bus station um, obviously this is an outside bus station it's just got a covering overhead so I can remove my mask um, because it's not technically required um, I will need to put this back on when I get on the next bus so the bus station is particularly quiet uh, some people are wearing masks some people aren't even though it is required for most travelers there are some exceptions and i will put those down below in the description for a link to tfl where there is a full list 
so if you do think or feel that you um, are exempt from wearing one then like that's completely fine it's pretty quiet it's this should be peak hour this should be packed this part of South London it's a key interchange for a lot of people getting off the tube and getting buses to places where the tube doesn't run so uh, you would normally expect it to be a lot busier than what it is today okay bus number one so, so far so good, Got on. I'm on the top deck up here with great views over London, there's just me, this gentleman here, <laughs> and a couple of guys at the back, and uh, yeah, so far it's really quiet on board, and yeah, there's lots of social distancing, so it's not nearly as busy as I expected, which is great, so let's see how we go for the rest of the journey. Well, something you don't know about me is that when I first moved to London, I took a bus, in the wrong direction for about 40 minutes before I realized that I was going the wrong way. So I've done it again today. Uh, however, I realized after two stops that I was going in the wrong direction. So I've jumped off and looking for the bus stop that goes in the other direction, but I just happened to have gotten off right along embankment, which is of course one of my favorite things in London. So. Welcome to Embankment. <laughs> this is the south side of Embankment. Uh, we're down past the Palace of Westminster or Houses of Parliament as you might know it. There's no one coming, so let's quickly cross the road. It's a bit cheeky, but the traffic lights are miles up there. So let's just cut across here and wait for the next bus. So once I got on the right bus, it was quite a lot busier than the, the incorrect bus. So I did a head count and there was about 12 people up the top deck. I think that was probably like, it's a max of 30 on buses now. I wouldn't like to see any more. It's a bit squishy. The air conditioning is running, thankfully, because it is uh, very, very warm. Back in my car after my little adventure on uh, the public transport network of London. It was interesting. It was really hot. Some tube lines were better than others in terms of numbers. Some bus routes were better than others. It's really hard to tell. It's really hard to predict. So unless you need to take a journey, I would still err on the side of caution and make your best judgment call on the day. Definitely have a mask. I would recommend you have a spare just in case uh, you drop it or you lose it or something happens to it, then at least you have another face covering so you can get home. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so and feel free to leave us a comment below um, maybe about how you feel about the social distancing measures that are happening on public transport wherever you are. Thanks for joining. Until next time, bye-bye.